Okay, this screencast is having a look at the process of exporting and importing Ultranet spaces. And there's probably a couple of reasons why we might want to go through that process. One of them would be to use the exported space as a backup of our Ultranet space. And that might be because there are a few ways to accidentally delete your space. It might be that you're in the Actions menu and you accidentally click on the Delete button. Or it may be that you're removing students from your space or members from the space and you accidentally remove yourself and so therefore your space would be inactive or deleted. And the best way to bring that space back is to import it from um, a backup and your space would be up and running within a, a few minutes. So going through that, that process, um, another reason why you might want to do that is to use the space as a template. And in this case, I've set up a space here for a prep grade. It may be, it's got all the pages that it needs. So up the top, I've set up the pages. I've put iframes onto each page and some content into those. But it may be that I want to share that with my colleagues and that I would give a copy of the space to each classroom teacher who could then import that space and customise it to their own needs for their own students. So the way to go through that um, export process is to go down to the landing page. In this case, it's a collaborative learning space. So I'll click on the collaborative learning icon at the bottom. And then I need to scroll up to the top left and the tab in the top that says collaborative learning spaces I own. And that for me will bring up the um, actions menu next to the spaces that I have mem uh, ownership over. And as I scroll down, I've got this prep space here and I've actually set it up as an export for people to import and use. So it's actually a private space. So all the content is on it that um, I want. It's ready to be exported out as a package for other people to use. So if I go to the actions menu and scroll up to manage pages, I can see that in the top left here, I have a tab called export and import. So I'll click on that one. And it's saying that it's going to export the selected file and give it an LAR file name. Now, LAR is the file type of um, Ultranet Spaces. And this is the name it will give it. So, so long as I'm careful to leave the dot LAR at the end, I can actually delete some of the numbers there so, and leave it with a, a name that makes sense. So prep space dot LAR is a good idea. And then when I scroll down, it asks me what I would like to um, export and having a look at that the data is ticked the way it is set up is ticked the portlets are going to be exported that's all the information that I would like um, if I had changed the permissions in the space at all then I would click on the permissions button and then um, there there are more options so if I've set up particular applications I can click those but in this case it's a basic setup, so I'm just going to go with what the default settings are and click on the export button. And then this um, process can take a, a couple of minutes, but it will bring up a little window that says it's going to export the space and where would I like to save that. And I'm just saving that to my desktop. So I'll click OK there. <coughs> and we have... Um, a dialog box to say that that's been exported. Now those files are actually quite small so that they're able to be emailed to people or you can just save them on your computer if you like. You could also upload them to a space for your staff to give them access to those um, LAR files. So that's been successful. I'll just return to full page now and go through the process of importing that space. So if I was um, another member of staff and I had received that space I would have it sitting on my desktop perhaps on a USB drive I just click on the add collaborative learning space give it the name that I would uh, like to call it so I might call it whatever name suits my grade write in a brief description of what they're going to be doing in that I could uh, tag that and often the tag is a word that's up the top so in this case I'll tag it as prep. It needs to be left as a blank template um, so that we can bring in the new template over the top so we'll just click on save for that and it will create 
that collaborative learning space. And this is the collaborative learning space where I will import that exported prep space we looked at at the beginning. So I'll now click on collaborative learning spaces I own to bring back that actions button and scroll down the list until I find the space that I've just created. So this is the one that I just created, prep CZ space. When I go over here to the actions button, I'll go back to that manage pages and again click on that export import button in the top left. Only this time I'm going to import a space. So I'll click on import on the import tab. It gives me a browse icon which allows me to look through my desktop. There's the space that we saved before, prep space LAR. Click on open. It will put that in there. I'm bringing in all of the same things that are exported. Again, if, if the export had permissions, I'd want to bring those in, so I would tick that box. I'll click on Import. And Ultranet is now importing that space. And we're just going to wait for a success message on that one. There we go, we, it's been um, processed successfully, so if we return to full page, we should have our content from the previous space in our new space that we've created. So I'll again click, click on Collaborative Learning Spaces I own. Scroll down my, my list, there's my space called Prep CZ. Click on that one. And when I open it up, it should have all of the content that was on the original space. So that's the process for uh, exporting and importing alternate spaces.